All right. Well, seeing as uh, <laughs> seeing as I can't get my uh, Xbox One controllers working, we got three of them, and they're all kind of busted. I've got a wireless dongle for them. The only issue is I need to get batteries and about AAA batteries. This week has been a week. Anyway, uh, I plugged in my old Xbox 360 controller, and it seems to be working fine enough. So, right, let's continue this dungeon. I forgot. It's weird. The grips are different. The plastic is different. It's it's the kind of plastic. I, I don't know if you guys have ever have like experienced this, but with the old Xbox 360 controllers, it always felt like my hands were sticking to them, like they were they were sticky. But it's just like kind of the way the plastic reacts to skin touching it. I guess it's weird. Anyway, this jutting boulder reacts to your pl presence. Touch it. Stone becomes active. Sure. I've never set foot in this dungeon, so I'm kind of curious. I bought a whole bunch of loot boxes from it, but I've never actually been in here. Looks cool. But I think we have one more dungeon after the Mana Rifts. Like, we probably fight Kadral and then we fight Varus himself. I wonder if um, the, the evil necromancer lady that we've been fighting, chasing after... Uh, if she isn't trying to bring about Kadral's rev uh, Varus's revival instead of Kadral. Or even have Varus become Kadral. Uh, and not Kadral become Varus. I don't know. The thought. Uh, let's see. I want to see if there's an easy map button. One thing I did like about having the Steam Controller is, hey, it made it a lot easier to press the map button. Let's go back for a bit. Uh, it seems like this is the wrong direction to go. It'd be perfect if they just had the, the map be on the D-pad instead. Yeah, it's not. Weird. Okay, Matter Over Mind. Journal entry, June 12th. Oh, it's been quite a while now since we entered and the only things we found have been nothing but trouble. Palmer did seem like he had found something as he called me over, but as I got closer he presented me with an empty stone, with empty stone plaques. I told him they were interesting, but not of much importance. He became astonishingly annoyed and stormed off sharply. He had a look in his eye, like something was drawing him further in. Very odd. Palmer has never been this biting before. Gene. Yeah, the bread I mentioned in the last episode. Oh, these guys are level 28. Okay, this is going to be a bit harder. Uh, but yeah, the bread I mentioned is, uh, is going to be out soon. And I smell it, and it smells so good. Okay, so these guys are going to be harder. I'm thinking... Uh, oh, I can only hit this guy. I'm thinking... I'm just going to go no holds barred here, and we'll just come back later. Uh, these guys hurt, and I... Having Garrison be underleveled is actually a serious problem. Hadn't quite processed that. But that's okay. He's getting 400 EXP just for that fight alone, so it should speed this up. Okay, so we've got a Hero's Feast, which gives me a bonus. And then I also bought, like, a stupid number of these, from what I remember. Oh, these are, uh, flasks. Infused Crystal Shards. Looks like an artifact. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Infused Crystal Shards are how we get those chests open. Yeah, so we've got two. If I can get, uh, if I can get a handful more, uh, we can go out, open up that chest and get Gully, uh, her legendary weapon. It seems like pursuing that is a very smart idea in light of the fact that we just got kind of clobbered. But yeah, I don't think we're actually done with this game yet. Like, the, I don't think this is the last dungeon. Oh, I've been listening to this song a lot. And I really like it. Um, the main reason why I don't think I'm going to be done is there's one more location I haven't been to on the map. And that usually... Uh, that's usually a good sign for, you know, actual last dungeon. Okay. Now I'll just hit the mana slime. I mean, he's very liable to not survive. Really. Uh, let's see. Crits? Yeah. Oh, still bleeding, though. Eh, whatever. 
Oh. These guys have a lot of HP. Well, because we've got Nolan in the party, I can use Execute fairly liberally. Which is appreciated. I guess on the last on the last episode I was very appreciative of uh I was very appreciative of uh how much HP Alamon had, but now that I'm looking at it, it's not actually that great. Uh because Red Monica has the same amount of HP. So yeah, I, I guess I will have to change my standards here. Yeah, despite despite being underpowered and undergeared compared to everybody else, Garrison's flat damage is better than better than anybody's. And there's an ancient vampire fang. Good. Uh, I think that's actually the last one I needed. Matter of her mind. Journey journal entry, June twelfth. Out of no more, Pam, Palmer attacked me. While going through our supplies for more rations, I asked him if he had any in his pouch, but he abruptly drew his sword, fury in his eyes. I defended myself as best as I could, striking what felt like small, uh, felt like a small blow that sent a spattering of blood on the surrounding rocks. It still wasn't enough to bring him back to his senses. He ran off into the maze of slags, screaming cries of jealousy. I honestly have no earthly idea what he's going on about. This lends me another problem. I'm out of rations, and Palmer ran off with what he... What he has. I must find him and either bring him to his senses or, well, I'll just hope for the better. No. It's like a weird homing magic shot. Okay. We should probably switch to her then. Not finding any more of those keys, though. Okay. A massive towering monolith stands before you. A rune... Representing the word mind or soul is graved in its center. Nolan or Alamon may know of magic that could interact with the rune. Let's have Nolan deal with it, I guess. Nolan uses his arcane magic to momentarily bind the rune. As he does so, it spins, releasing some mana shards. Nolan speaks into incantations of great power that buff his allies. But as soon as he speaks the words, they are forgotten. The binding becomes broken. Okay, so we have kind of like little puzzly access things to get more mana shards. Well, we have Hero's Feast, Mana Bolt Trap, Owie, and a Shrine of Haste that lasts for three battles. Ooh, handy. Yeah, if Garrison can gain two levels while we're here, we can give him a uh, suitably good equipment. And then we won't have to worry about much. And I'm just going to use all the consumable items I've been gathering up until now. Okay, so mana gauge is filled. Let's... Let's do what we do best. Her firebomb never scaled well. But we do have that. Okay. That barely hurt him. I wonder why. Oh, he's just fast. That's the deal. We miss the living shadow. Does he just have really good evasion? Yeah, he has really good evasion. Okay, well that's fine. Uh, let's do mass heal or mend wounds. Mend Wounds is pretty much just an instant, uh... I'm just gonna do evasive maneuvers. He's gonna die on his turn, I believe, so let's let, uh, Nolan do his heal. Or we missed? I'm not sure what happened there. Well, that's fine. That was not worth nearly as much EXP. Uh, that's fine. What's this? The calling. First calling. Uh, let's see. Oops. Okay, first calling. Touching this orb reveals a vision. A sheet of ro roiling green mana. Liquid hot tips off the edge of a great precipice. Massive stones covered in runes float weightless through a void. Though there is no roof in this place, the sky cannot be seen. A wisp of smoke expands, swirling until it cuts a silhouette against the blazing horizon. 
Varys walks along a narrow path, coming from nowhere and headed to the same direct, uh, same destination. He stops, one foot in front of the other. Why am I summoned here? He screams. But no echo returns. He continues on his way, hesitating occasionally, mouth twisted in questioning screams, though no more sound can be heard. He appears to yell no, and suddenly starts back, running endlessly towards an exit that won't appear. Sounds like the dude's kind of having a bad time. Oh, elevators. Okay, uh, so we are probably going to want to switch in uh, Red Monica for Gully or Calabretto. Because it looks like each character fulfills uh, one of two roles. Okay, a massive towering monolith stands before you. A rune representing bladed weaponry is engraved on its center. Monica or a garrison may be able to use their weapons to interact with the rune. Have her slash it. Monica uses her daggers to momentarily bind the rune. As she does so, it spins, releasing some mana shards. Monica yells ancient war cries of great power at the buffer allies, but as soon as she speaks their words, they are forgotten. The binding becomes lost. Yeah, so we might actually want to just uh, get out of here. Because if I can... Um, if I can go get... Gully... Uh, I believe we have enough uh, shards. I believe we can go get our legendary weapon and start using her. Oh, right. I keep forgetting. I have perk points to spend. I should probably do so. Gonna hit this guy with damage over times if I can. He's got mean avoidance abilities. Or we just kill him. Both work. Because, yeah, it's going to be a little bit before we get Garrison up to the right level here. Okay. The message. Varus. A thundering voice can be heard before an image forms. Varus! The empty voice repeats. So loud it seems to be echoing from everywhere at once. A vast ocean of mana, mottled with dark stones, floating on cascading waves of electric energy, flashes into view. The surface begins to swirl, sweeping the rune-carved boulders into a vortex. Each one flashes like lightning when it disappears into the maelstrom center. Varus! The voice now resonates like an audible earthquake, shaking supernaturally through the thick air. The whirlpool abruptly ceases as if it had never existed. The surface of mana is peaceful for a moment before exploding violently as if an entire mountain erupted from its surface in the span of an eye blink. A great demon, faceless, appears for one long heartbeat. Only I can save you. Radio then. Oh. So that's how we get up here. There we go. Took a little bit for the thing to realize that I wanted to leave. Okay. So if we cleared out we have cleared out this area, we have that there. But uh t -t 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 -t. easiest way to check if I have enough. Yes. Okay, I have six. Hopefully we'll be able to uh, we'll be able to go and grab the uh Actually, it might be easier if we save and quit to menu and walk, uh, effectively bench warp. If anybody gets that expression, eh, there's probably some crossover fans for Hollow Knight in this. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna bench warp back. We're gonna we're gonna go get Gully her her fists, because I would not mind uh, equipping her with the goodies. So, it's going to require five keys, and it's probably in the Northern Isle. Let me check this for a bit. You guys get to see my Discord. Hey. Okay. Northernmost chest requires five. So, it's this. All the way out here. Well, that's easy. Okay, let's do Rage Wave Wild Shot. Yeah, because we have Nolan in the party, we are pretty much free to do whatever. Mana-wise. I like Calibretto. I like him a lot. His heals are definitively better. 
but there's something really nice about just having a character that, uh, there's something really nice about having a character that more or less just eliminates a, uh, a limiting mechanic. Okay, this looks like it, and we get the dragon scales. All right, yeah, let's go get Gully in here. I'll, I'll get Gully, I think, instead of uh, Red Monica. She's she's pretty good, uh, but she fulfills kind of the same role as Garrison, and having Gully along to either taunt or just be beefy, both work for me. Also, I don't know. I Gully is kind of the main character here, so we I feel like we should have her. Have fun. Okay. Let's grab her. And come to think of it. Full. Browse wares. I don't have that much money. I've been spending it wildly. I figured let's pick up some food. We know the we know the food boosts are pretty good. They've always been good. Stay I've just never the used them. Okay, uh, so first and foremost, let's go make Gully a, uh, uh... What do you need? Let's go make Gully the, uh, the dragon kind. Oh, it does actually reduce her maximum it HP works. by a bit. I'll see you later. Uh, it might actually be because of the enchantment. No, doesn't. Whatever. I mean, it's still worth it. Huh. Her attack power is terrible. Well, it's life. Okay. I guess ultimately the Storm Knight wouldn't have been that cool. It just looks real pretty. But back to this we go. Okay, uh, so we actually have a lot of perk points to throw at things. I actually don't want to change anything here. I mean, we could maybe get rid of crit chance and crit damage for a little bit. The rest of this is too good, though, for me to switch around. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. We did need these. Because I already put some in here. Okay, deep wounds. All bleed damage by 40%. Bleed ticks extra overcharge. Extra haste. Attack power by 10% per overcharge used on that ability. That's pretty good. I'm mostly looking to boost his damage, though. So deep wounds is probably the most useful. What about the rest of these? So that's good. Rage Wave ignores armor. When the target is bleeding, increase the Berserk crit chance. I don't know, that might be pretty good too. Yeah, I'm gonna get Berserk too. Cause I can gen I can actually go from Sting to Berserk constantly. Uh without stopping, and that would actually work really well. Okay, it doesn't really look like his other things are very good. So, Ignite can now crit. That's okay. Oh, Ice Spells gain penetration, ignoring enemy defense. That might be really good. Or we could just increase his attack power by a lot. Each tick of Ignite will increase his crit chance by 1%. Stacks 30 times. Yes, a lot of those actually... Oh, Mana Supplement. Every attack grants 4 Overcharge. That's why... That's useful. Okay. Well, let's get Impaling Ice. And Ice Lance. I think. Okay, and then Gully. Who mostly went uh, Defense, because, yeah, she's got 17,000. Deals a 7% of remaining HP and damage. 7% of that. That's like an extra 700-ish. Increases attack power by 14%. No.
Adventure Overcharge is great. Cover self and damage shield. Yeah, we could actually get it. So she's getting 700 points of of uh, of shield every couple of turns. That'd be pretty good. But I think I'm just going to go with basic jab for now. And then when I get some more books, then we'll do some things. Okay, and I guess I'll give him start strong. Or sturdy. Nah, start strong. Okay. I might actually have to go... Do we? Let's go be needless. I don't think I'm going to be spending my artifact points. I have a lot of artifact points. I get a lot from things. Let's go be really silly. Okay, I can buy... I can buy... Let's just get 12 of them. I'll save 75 just in case I need anything. I've been over farming this game. Which means I'm, like, constantly behind, but that's okay. Because we're almost done with the game. And I kind of want to... I don't know, it's really attractive uh, ending this by being uh, more or less rolling monsters. Let's just increase our crit chance. Let's see, we're working on Wanderer for him. Because if I can get... Uh, <laughs> Life Leech is amazing, actually. Also, Survivor. Holy shit. Actually, that's amazing. Attack power by one for every seven points of stamina. That's, it's like, stupidly good. Well... Uh, I'm going to go with the haste. This one's a little bit more situational, I think. Let's see. Ice Blast 2 would be kind of interesting, but I think I'm just going to go crit and attack power. Because I really do no use Nolan as my, my primary healer here. Okay, uh, so let's... I am not paying attention to what I'm doing. There we go. Yeah, let's go back in there. Uh, this should be a good party. And if it's not, I don't know, we'll figure it out. Alright, well, uh, let's see. Short mid-episode interruption aside, let's fight some people. Uh, to... Technically, uh, this, this is an episode that's split across multiple days. Uh, so I might as well just be straight up about it. Actually, let's do a sting. Because I can do some stuff with Sting. I can do some broken nonsense with Sting. Probably should have actually done that on the... The... Other guy. Eh, whatever. Not a big deal. Okay, uh, but... I should probably mention this thing as this was... Uh, asked, demanded, whatever of me. Why did that do no damage? Holy shit. Okay, maybe I am doing the right thing here. Damn, Rupture is a good move that only works if I'm comboed with somebody else. Never mind. Ow. Okay. What do we got? We do have a Resurrect. This has suddenly become Buttsville. Uh, let's see. Quake Fist, Earthquake... Scattershot is pointless. Let's do a barrier swing on the spider. Well, we got the spider down at the very least. That's helpful. Fortunately, Garrison's probably going to go down again. No, he didn't. Okay, that's probably for the best. Okay, anyway, uh, somebody had uh, su suggested, I don't know, somebody had said that they were disappointed that I'm not using the mana-tempered katana for this dungeon. You do realize Garrison's not the right level for that, right? Like... Everything I do is generally not... Uh, ah, uh, jeez. It's casting Hailstorm. We got Burst, but there's not much to do... I guess let's do a, uh... Can I get a Mass Heal in beforehand? Yeah, I can. But, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd use the Mana Tempered, uh... I'd use the Mana Tempered Katana if I could, but I can't. 
Also, we have the legendary sword, so it's almost kind of silly to, to use it. Uh, but I can at least equip it so you can see what it looks like. This is definitely not better than the, uh, the Cursed Blade or whatever it's called. Stupid Guardian. Okay, well, you know what? Easiest way to hurt, hurt this guy is probably with status effects. Sundered or poisoned? Ah! Let's see if Impaled does anything to him. Because it looks like he's purely a protector and nothing more. Yep, okay, piercing damage ignores armor. I see the point of it all. But yeah, I know I know katanas are cool. But can't use it, and even if I could, I'm not going to for very long. This game is not exactly um not friendly, but it's Oh, hello, what's this? This is a chronicle cube. With it you can witness past events as a vision through someone else's eyes, and even influence them. Inspect. Chronicle cubes were created by ancient mages as a way of condensing several thousand tomes of information and memories in a single place. Normally they are but they're normally they're but simple recordings. Perhaps because of the location, this one actually allows you to influence past events. Peer into the vision. Once you start the vision, leaving it means it will be lost, perhaps forever. There are no second chances. Your reward will be based on how well you, you are able to achieve your goals inside the vision. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. You close your eyes, and when you open them, suddenly you are in a different place. A different time as a different person. In the way you understand things in dreams without them being explained, you realize that you are the lore master in the great mana halls. Green mana fire is spreading everywhere within the mana halls. Some cataclysmic event outside has begun to destroy the world outside. As lore master, it is your solemn duty to ensure as much information is preserved as possible. Judging by the rate of smoke filling the area, you estimate you can explore three halls before having to evacuate. You are currently in the great hall. Let's go with the uh, Halls of Antiquity. The majestic Halls of Antiquity looms over you. Here, all of recorded history in the world is collected. You notice a room full of rune tablets and another full of scrolls. You only have time to enter one before the fire claims them. Uh, let's go with the scrolls. Dusty scrolls are stored everywhere. There's so many useful bits of lore, it's hard to decide which ones to take. You decide the ones that contain stories of murder and betrayal are the most interesting and take three of them. What? Alright. Uh, let's see. Let's go with, uh, ad agitation. Adjudication? Adjudication. There we go. Here all matters relating to law and order are stored. It is by far your least favorite branch of the man halls, even though as lore master you're not, you're not supposed to have favorites. You see, there are three areas you can search for lore in. You feel the heat of mana fire encroaching. You can go to the land title storage, lower acolyte rulings, or magistrate rulings. Let's go magistrate rulings. The magistrates are often too busy with ceremony and pomp to be useful. Once they get that rank, they simply coast and collect their weekly earnings. You only find one piece of lore that would be remotely useful to anyone. Well, shoot. Alright, let's do the lecture halls. You enter the grand lecture halls, the place where... All mages from all over the world come to spread their knowledge and condescend on others who don't know what they know. You pass by the lectern in front of the hall you recently purchased. It costs a fortune and soon it will be destroyed. And you tell yourself that this will be an opportunity for growth to be less attached to the material world. Inside the lectern you find two codices that are worth carrying out. You hurriedly rush out of the Great Hall along with some acolytes that are also fleeing. You stop them and hand them what you found. As you're about to leave, you turn around behind you and see the entire back wall of the hall collapse, revealing the waste of the mana rifts outside. You step outside. Continue. As you and the other survivors find safety outside, you stop to tally how much lore you found. You collected a meteor mediocre amount of lore. One of your friends says to you, it could have been worse. This moment causes you to reflect back on the rest of your life and remember all the moments you did something half well and you feel sort of bad. Suddenly you snap out of the vision and are back in reality. If only could dream, 
as real as any dream feels, and you have no idea how much time has passed. Inside the Chronicle Cube, you find some items. Well, that's kind of neat, but also kind of insulting. It's kind of like a choose-your-own-adventure without enough feedback to let you know if you're really doing the right thing or making the right choices. Oh well. <laughs> 